Train, Angel, The Psycho, and Guys, we're getting the night started with an amazing matchup here. You're absolutely right, Cole. In fact, I don't think there's a better way to start this night than with this match right here. Sounds to me, guys, like this crowd is ready to get this night started. They're not the only ones, Cole. It seems to me that these superstars want nothing more than to get their hands on one another. This is it. Ouch. Handicap action is underway. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Oof. What a stomp. Good grief. She might have it. She better do something fast. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Running Bulldog. Boom, what impact. Tag is made, set up top. This could end very, very badly, Byron. Oh, no. Oh, my God. You got to be kidding me. Hurricane Rana into a power bomb. I always loved a good handicap match growing up, especially when you'd see Andre the Giant go up against two or three jabronis. Despite being outman, you always knew Andre would walk away with the win. There's a tag. Up top, high cross body. Andre the Giant really was the king of the handicap match, as Corey was saying earlier. And he also made quite a name for himself competing in battle royals, as you would suspect, seeing as he's well over 500 pounds. I think my favorite Andre the Giant battle royal moment came at WrestleMania 2 when he last eliminated both members of the Hart Foundation to walk away with the win. There was no getting him over that top rope that night, fellas. We've seen some pretty lopsided handicap matches over the years, and one that stands out in my mind? Well, it might just be the 2010 encounter that saw John Cena take on six members of the Nexus. Nailed it. Tag made. What's in store here? Drop toe hold. Ooh, right to the back. 
That six-on-one match Byron brought up earlier actually could have even been more lopsided. If you remember, it was originally supposed to be seven-on-one, but John Cena was able to take Darren Young out of the equation when he injured him the week prior. Well, you know what? He should have kept taking Nexus members out because even without Darren Young, the Nexus was able to accomplish their goal that night, defeat John Cena. A lot can go wrong in a match like this, guys. In fact, I'll be surprised if we don't see a major injury occur here tonight. Oh, and a snap there! That'll give you a whiplash. Corey's point, handicap matches are an incredibly dangerous atmosphere, and being outmanned in any way, whether it's by one, two, or even more competitors, can result in serious injury. Or in the case of Braun Strowman, you can be outmanned and still somehow be the one delivering the injuries. I mean, he is absolutely unbelievable. Strowman kick with precision. What a stomp. Good grief. She's on the defensive now. You better be careful. Handicap matches have a way of getting out of control quickly. Looks to me like her game plan hit a bit of a snag here, guys. She better make a change quickly if she wants to win this handicap match. There are certain superstars who are synonymous with handicap. Look at this, Byron. She's almost out of it. No, she escapes it. Yeah, I don't know if she had it locked in fully, Michael. I couldn't agree with you more about what you were saying earlier, Michael. It seems like Big Show has been in dozens, if not hundreds, of handicap matches. And believe it or not, I'd say he won the majority of them. Yeah, but I can tell you one he didn't win. How about on SmackDown back in July of 2008, when he was forced to take on MVP, Vladimir Kozlov, Shelton Benjamin, and the great Kali? Well, I don't know if there's a man alive who could have turned back that person. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. Hey, guys, remember when Shane McMahon competed against the supposed Legion of Doom in a handicap match back in 1999? What a joke that was. He told everybody he'd go up against Hawk and Animal. Instead, what we got were a couple of LOD imposters. Oh, nasty impact. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. She's got her where she wants her. I remember that Shane McMahon's handicap match. This is it. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Oh, and she gets out of the way. Ooh, what impact. She's licking her chops. Going for it all here. Harsh impact. This could be it. Boom! <laughs> this one's over, guys. Ah, oh, she gets out of it. She has renewed life now, Michael. Tag made. We've seen some great chemistry from this team here, Michael. Yeah, incredible chemistry. Oh, and it's Zagari. Looks like she wants to win early. Oh, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. That's too early for that. Leg drop! You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. She might have it. Hey, guys, you've got to believe this one's over. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. What a stomp! Good grief! She's got that gleam in her eyes. She reverses out of it, and not a second too soon. Close call there. And 
she drops her. That was about as in your face as it gets. I remember the Shane McMahon's handicap match you were mentioning earlier very well, Byron, and those imposters posing as Hawk and Animal, the Legion of Doom, were none other than Pat Patterson and Gerald Briscoe. Or should I call them the Stooges? No, you shouldn't call them the Stooges. Have a little respect, Cole. We're talking about two Hall of Famers here. She's looking at it. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Looking to steal one there, perhaps. It could take more than that. And it's reversed. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Beautiful technique. Tag. What are we going to see here? Oh, it's a tear the features clean off your face. Larian. We're looking at complete domination here. We know what's coming here. Oh, just inflicting so much damage to the body. This one is over. It's locked in. They tapped. They tapped. Let's take another look at what made that matchup so memorable. Look at her go. She's taking care of business. That's a woman on a mission. And that's exactly how she wanted to end this thing. Here are your winners. Rachel, Julie, Alice, and High Energy. And the first match of the night comes to an end.